Now to the Maryland governor's race and current Governor Larry Hogan's continuing criticism of the Republican Party nominee to replace him. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live downtown right now. He's going to break down for us what Hogan said in several national interviews. Mike. Denise Vick Hogan has been outspoken. He says he is fighting for the heart and soul of the Republican Party. Republican Dan Cox will face off against Democrat Wes Moore to be Maryland's next governor. In November, it, it, we're going to have a different story when a lot of these fringe candidates lose. Republican and current Governor Larry Hogan has not been shy about showing his disdain for Cox, a delegate representing Carroll and Frederick counties. It was kind of unprecedented collusion between the Democratic Governors Association and Donald Trump, and both of them were promoting a conspiracy theory, uh, believing uh, kind of not. Job. I'm running for governor. And Cox is backed by former President Donald Trump, and Hogan has been in a heated feud with Trump over the future of the Republican Party. What kind of a party are we going to be, and can we get back to a more Reagan esque big tent party that appeals to more people? Cox believes the election was stolen from Trump. What makes me more, uh, more, more concerned about the future of the party and more concerned about the future of the country. I'm very proud. While Hogan's preferred candidate, Kelly Schultz, lost by a wide margin, the governor does not see it as a defeat for him. About 2% of the people in Maryland voted for this guy. Uh, it, it's not going to be the same in November, I can tell you that. So it's not a big win. It's really a loss, and we just have to wait a few months to make And you definitely won't support him. You'll... No. you'll... I would not support the guy. I wouldn't let him in the governor's office, let alone vote for him. Hogan has repeatedly declined to say whether he'll be running for president. And while he says he will not vote for Cox, Governor Hogan has not said whether he'll cross the aisle and vote for more. Whether they are Democrats, independents, or Republicans, uh, we want them to know that we are excited to be their governor and their lieutenant governor, too. We are here to make sure that your civil rights and your constitution is always intact for you. Now, in the primary, Cox got more than 144,000 votes compared to Schultz's 113,000, so a clear-cut victory. As for the general election, it's more than three months away, and anything can happen. Live downtown, Mike Halgren, WJZ.